The strengths none for 13. Pollock to continue. Well, he's gone, and that's well bowled. That hurried him into a defensive stroke. Pollock has given that a little bit extra, and it's climbed at Elliott, who hasn't been able to get over the top of it. And the first wicket down for Australia. That's a good piece of bowling from Sean Pollock. Yeah, beautiful piece of bowling. Uh, a bit of extra bounce there. And, uh, well, it's one that I think had his time again. He wouldn't have played it, that one. He would have let it go. Jacques Callis taking the, uh, the catch there at third slip. slip. A very good catch. So uh, Matthew Elliott's woes continue. He's out for just eight, and Australia lose their first wicket at 15. Cowie, the international umpire from New Zealand, officiating at the city end. He's gone for it, and he's gone. Can you believe that? They played for that. They dropped the short one in. Barker at square leg takes the catch, and that's what South Africa needed. Certainly was. It was a planned move. They've got him placed absolutely in that position they've moved him back and look at the joy there on Pollock's face I mean they've clearly been thinking about this just watch it again blew it likes playing the pull shot goes for it early on and uh, have a look at that he's pretty close halfway between the batsman and the umpire there and takes the catch no trouble at all so that little ploy's worked first blood this morning to the South Africans blew it out caught by Bacher off the bowling of Pollock for 31 and it's now two for 71 Good catch. That is the most difficult catch in the business, having to come forward and fractionally sideways. He would have been moving a little bit to his right anyway, and Mark War is gone. And finally, Sean Pollock has picked up his third wicket. Well, he deserved it. That's all I can say. He's uh, forced the uppish cover drive. It's his third wicket now. Had a couple of drop catches as well. Mark Wall fought very hard for his 63. Not one of his best ever innings. Australia now three for 197. Wall's got a plan in mind. Out, oh, yes, he's got him. He's found the edge again. Steve Wall gone. That's superb bowling under the conditions. He got him forward. He's moved away a fraction, and the wicketkeeper took the catch. Yes, the length was absolutely spot on. That was the area where they troubled Steve Waugh in the one-day uh, preliminary matches leading up to the finals. Excellent length and just a hint of uh, away movement there. May have had the uh, bat slightly angled as well, Steve Waugh. And Pollock has got his fourth victim. Australia are four for 207. He well, beats him a little bit of outswing. Got him walking into it, squared him up. Yes, he's gone past the outside edge a few times uh, in this innings, Sean Pollock. I think he's bowled very well. And uh, that one moved away, didn't it? It was a good delivery. Looked as if it was going to stay on that line just around about uh, outside off stump. It's bowled up. Big shout. It was a long way across as he goes to work it on the onside. Maybe just going down the leg side. Ponting does get across a long way. Yes, well, let's have a look at the replay and see uh, how far he got across. Did it uh, straighten down the line? Jeez, I tell you what. What's wrong with that one, Bill? I think you'll judge it was just going to miss the leg stump, but by gee, it looked close, didn't it? By Steve Randall. Not giving it. <laughs> Wonderful over. Four for two four nine. In the air, sure he's got it five for Pollock. That's a beautiful spell of bowling. Here we squared up, and young Sean Pollock deserves that five. He's been magnificent. Well, neither here nor there. Healy, he was uh, going to play the pull shot, and I think decided against it. And. Succeeded only in just lobbing it back in rather an ugly fashion to Sean Pollock. But that gives him five, and no one can deny the fact that this young redhead has deserved that. He's bowled brilliantly today. Bad luck for Ian Healy in his 100th test match. He's out for one, and it's now 6 for 273. Andrew Bickle 
comes out. It's a, for Sean Pollock, it's a great day because when it's tough and your main striker is not playing because of a, an injury, somebody has to lift. And Sean Pollock's done that. He's been superb today. Gone, dropped. Oh, another one. Straight to Simcox at Gully. That was another setter of such a thing. It was a nice hide. Pollock once again sees a Fieldsman grass, a straightforward catch. As far as gully catches go, they don't come much easier than this. That was a dolly. Uh, just straight to him at chest height, and you can't drop them. He's got it! Oh, what a ripper! He threw out the left hand, Pat Simcox. He didn't have to wait long. Pollock gets six. Pat Simcox back in the game. Could you believe that? Oh, what a funny game this is. Heavens above, that's just ridiculous that a man can drop a catch like this. That is gone. That's the easiest gully catch you'll ever get, that. That is just so simple. And then, lo and behold, Andy Beckel says, well, I'll hit this about ten times harder, higher, and going over, and he whacks up the left hand, catches it, and says, on your way, China. Well, dear, oh, dear. Ridiculous game. He's out for a duck. Australia now. Seven for 279. Well, Pollock has 6 for 74. He's bowled 30.5 overs on Pat Simcox. He's just taken a magnificent catch. Warren's yeah. gone. He's out. First ball. He's on a hat trick. Beautiful bowling. The outswinger Warren fended away, and all of a sudden he's got seven for 74. What a great day for Sean Pollock. Well, if ever a man deserves a hat trick, I reckon it's Sean Pollock today. He has bowled absolutely superbly, and he's got the ball moving away from Shane Warren. Shane Warren followed it, nicked it straight to Richardson, and it's all over for him. But that's just a magnificent piece of bowling. First ball, Touche Turtle, dab with the sword out there, nick it straight through to the keeper, and how this game changes so very, very quickly. <laughs> Duck, Shane Warne, and it's now eight for 279. Because he was sorely troubled by some wonderful bowling from Sean Pollock, who was uh, quite outstanding for South Africa. Now then, this is the dismissal of Steve War. Alan Donald has uh, worked on Steve Waugh. Steve Waugh's made a lot of runs and uh, Donald has had him out in that way. Pollock had him yesterday with a very good delivery, a good leg cutter caught by Richardson and Pollock himself is uh, not far off a milestone because he has seven wickets, the same as Huey Tayfield and Joe Partridge and he could go to the top of that table as well. well one thing I can tell you is that uh, Pollock was done no favours by his fieldsman yesterday. Five chances and all went down. Not all of them off uh, Sean Pollock, but he did bowl magnificently. One of the easier chances was the one dropped by Pat Simcox. This was a gully. He might have got his hands into the wrong position. Sometimes those catches can be a bit awkward. And it looked as though it was an awkward piece of positioning there. But then, to make fools of us all and to show what a funny game it is, he caught an absolute screamer from Andy Bickle. That ball was travelling. It would have hit uh, halfway to the boundary, and Simcox plucked it out of thin air and probably had a few words to say as well. Well, the pitch seems to me to be standing up okay. We'll have words now from Tony Gregg.